Hi, Alessia here with another Webflow tip. So today we're going to see how to set up responsive text by using Clamp with variables and custom CSS properties within Webflow. Currently, variables in Webflow do not allow you to set different values depending on the breakpoint. And you might add folders for each breakpoint and give values in there, or you might just give up on variables altogether. One way to set up responsive text is to use the view width value, which means the text size is based on the viewport of your browser. Now, this might still mean that you get tiny text on mobile and huge text on a big monitor. So in this video, I'm going to show you what is Clamp, how to make Clamp accessible, how to set up your variables, and how to add it to your custom properties. So let's start with what adding Clamp allows you to do. We saw that by using the view width unit, you can scale the text according to your viewport. Clamp allows you to add a minimum and a maximum size to your font. So once the text reaches the maximum value, it will no longer grow and it won't shrink below the minimum value. So that is Clamp. Is it accessible? Not yet. Because its value is based on the view width, this doesn't respond to the zooming in and out of the browser. To fix this, we can add a little calculation. So we keep the view width as the main point, but we're adding a rem value, which will respond to the zooming in and out of the browser. Next, we can set up our minimum and maximum variables. In the variables panel, you can set up all your sizes for H1, H2, H3, and so on, as well as your paragraphs value. And then do the same for the maximum size. The text will scale from the maximum to the minimum value. But remember, if these are the same, the text will not shrink or grow at all. Next, we need to take these values, add them to the clamp formula, and add it to the custom CSS. In clamp, replace the minimum value with a minimum variable, and the maximum value with a maximum variable. Make sure to add the clamp formula to all the classes affecting the text size. And for headings, make sure to add it to both the HTML tag as well as the class. So there you have it. We've learned what is clamp, how to make it accessible, how to add those variables, and how to add it to the custom CSS property. So if this was useful, please like and subscribe and see you next time. Bye for now.